Hello! So as many of you know, June was Pride Month and in July, specifically on July the 7th, is the London Pride Festival. I went to London Pride last year, it was my first Pride, it was incredible, and this year I was asked by Pride in London to make a video about what Pride means to me. Pride means something different to everybody, especially within a group as large and diverse as the LGBTQ plus community. A lot of the feeling of pride is based off of personal experiences and personal values, but also the feeling of pride, especially during like Pride Month, is collective. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what pride means to me and why it matters so much to me. If any of you already know me, you know that I'm a very, <laughs> very proud person. I'm a very asexual and proud kind of human and I kind of wanted to explain a bit why and also I wanted to take you through what my look, my makeup look for Pride is going to be. Um, I am not very good at makeup. I don't own any makeup brushes. Please don't attack me. <laughs> I have only started wearing makeup more recently and I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna be the first to say that. If any of you have any like actual tips that would be greatly appreciated. I am obviously not a makeup artist and I'm not trying to be a makeup artist but I just wanted to show you what my my pride look is. Um, can't, like I kind of get ready with me whilst I uh, whilst I talk about pride I guess. Yeah. I am also going to move my hair out the way because my hair is very annoying. Okay, wow, this is a solid look right here. This should be my pride look, just lion mane. <laughs> Actually, the first thing I'm gonna do, and some of y'all may judge me, and some of y'all may be like, oh shit, why didn't I think of that? Um, I'm gonna get some plasters. Put a plaster on each side of my eye because even though I look real stupid right now, it means I can get that sharp wing and that's all I really live for, let's, let's be honest. Anyway, pride. Uh, over the last few years, I have become a lot more confident with my sexuality and a lot more okay with it. Like, I came to accepting that I was ace pretty easily, I think. Like, I didn't have a huge long internal struggle with it but I don't really feel comfortable with it until um, very recently. I made a video about it called um, I'm Asexual I'm Proud. It was the first proper video I made about asexuality on my channel and it was the best thing I ever ever did. <laughs> um, and I think one of the things that's made me a lot more confident in the last few months, just generally, as well as with my um, with my sexuality and pride and stuff, is the fact that I've been doing a lot more activisty vocal stuff. Uh, I did a video with Gay Star News. I had um, an article, spotlight article from Ten Eighty. I had um, what else did I do? Um, done some work with Albert Kennedy Trust and it's all just going scarily well. For those of you who don't know, for whatever reason, and that is okay, um, asexuality is uh, me and it is the lack of sexual attraction. So <laughs> I'm doing horrendously here. I promise it won't look as bad as this. <laughs> oh god. Um, I promise I make it into like a solid look. I, I try. And yes, I don't know how to blend. I don't have a brush to blend, I think. Beats me. Asexuality is a huge part of my identity, obviously. Um, and it just feels so good to finally be at peace with who I am. This sounds so deep. Fucking hell. Uh, obviously it's not the only, only part of who I am. There is more to me than just asexual I am more than my label but the fact that I have a label that I'm so comfortable with and so just know as me makes me feel so good and that's one of the things that pride is about for me it's about 
expressing that I'm really happy with with how I am and that I'm not like everyone else. I'm not I'm not heterosexual, thank you. And I'm unique, but I'm also not alone. A lot of people don't like how much I talk about asexuality. And you know what? That's okay. I talk about asexuality because it's important to me and because I want to talk about it. And the thing is, is that from an ace perspective, everything in the world, both online and offline, in TV and media and in real life, is just so hypersexualized. And as an ace person who doesn't feel sexual attraction, it sucks. And I don't think it's a thing that people can understand if they don't experience it. And the thing is, if people don't understand that I have finally found something that makes me feel whole, then it hurts. As cliche as that sounds and that example sounds, it hurts. Like, I talk about asexuality because it's important to me and it's important that there is a voice for asexuality. I'm not saying I am the only voice, but I am a voice. And asexuality is lonely. Also, I look like a clown right now. I'm looking at myself in that viewfinder and I'm just screaming the word clown in my face. That's fun. <laughs> asexuality is lonely, is my point. And even hearing one person um, say that they feel the same way as me, or that this video helped, or this one thing I said helped them, is the most validating feeling in the entire world. Again, with asexuality along the lines of it being lonely, it also makes you feel very broken, which sucks ass. Or not, in my case. This is where we're gonna try doing eyeliner. Um, and this always takes several attempts, because I'm not very good, as I'm sure you can tell, but I mean, I guess, here we go with that. Um, as I was saying, um, asexuality is a big part of who I am, and it's a part of me that I'm very proud of now, and that's obviously okay, and in fact, that's great, if anything. Um, I think pride as an emotion and as a feeling is so important because it's very self-validating. No matter how many of my friends tell me that asexuality is valid, you're not broken, you're not alone, it would never feel right until I felt that myself. Um, and there are asexual groups that march in Pride. Unfortunately, at last Pride, um, I missed Avon, who are the Asexuality, Visibility and Education Network, and I was pretty sad about that but uh, everything at Pride was just getting a bit too much for me, so I decided against staying any longer. That was really sad for me because as much as I loved the whole atmosphere of Pride and I had a really nice time, I took loads of wonderful photos, I was in good company, I met my friend Millie again, um, there wasn't enough purple at Pride is what I came away thinking and by that, I just mean there wasn't enough ace. Uh, however, this year I am actually marching in Pride with Avon, which is super exciting. And I absolutely just can't wait. Have I done this right? These wings don't look even. I guess we're about to find out. Right, that's not horrendous. And that's <laughs> worse. Um, right, let's see if I can fix that. See, you know, like, the whole system, it works eventually. Like, it's not horrendous. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna try and fix this wing a bit. It's too flat. So obviously the, um, eye look is the first bit of my pride stuff. Um, next, I'm gonna get some glitter. Because we all know that... I love glitter. Um, these tubes are from Poundland. Um, I bought them in a big pack. It's not face glitter, so be very careful. You shouldn't actually do what I do and sometimes put it on your eyelid, but that's not what we're doing today anyway, so that doesn't matter. Um, what we are gonna do 
ears make a little flag and i'm undecided if i should make it go round like that i'm not very good at doing that whole thing so i think i'm gonna just do it on my cheeks so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna get some like vaseline or nivea whatever um and we're gonna put it where we want the flag to be yeah so all i do is i just get a cotton bud i put some black glitter on it and i just do this it's one of the most simple but effective things I think you can do for pride. Um, whenever anyone's like, hey, what should my pride look be? I'm like, glitter. Glitter should be your pride look. So I have my ace flag on my cheek. Um, what else do I do? I have a glitter eyeliner, right? Um, I used to use this before I fa finally found a good eyeliner, pencil, liner, brush thing. Um, but I do have a glitter eyeliner. Actually, I have two. I have a, I have a silver one and I have a silver and other colours one. I don't really know what I should be doing with it anymore if I have normal eyeliner on. Like, should I just try to put it above? Make that into like a little flag? Should we try it? Yeah? No? Maybe? I don't really know. I'm tempted to try it. Um, okay, I think that had promise. Um, it didn't go as well as I would have liked, but we can work with that. And I think it's a very good pride edition, so, you know. Um, to me, pride is not just being comfortable with having whatever sexuality you have or identify with, but it's also feeling part of a community and I think the event pride is so important because though obviously within the LGBT community um, we've made leaps and bounds in the last hundred years or so and don't get me wrong that's wonderful but pride is as much about celebrating yourself as it is about reminding people that People didn't always have the rights that we have now. And I think that's so important. It's still a statement, even though it's also a celebration of individuality and validity and all of that kind of thing. I'm excited to go to Pride this year. I'm excited to march. Uh, it means I won't be able to take many pictures or probably make a video. Um, I might vlog, I might not. It depends what works, you know? Um, but either way, I am ecstatic to be involved. I can't explain enough how much pride means to me as as a thing. Pride matters for anyone, whether you consider them queer enough or not. Um, pride matters to me because it makes me feel like I'm not alone. It makes me feel like I'm not broken and it's validating because I know it's not just a little Emmy being a little bit grossed out by the idea of sex. It's a valid orientation, it's a valid and complex orientation, and I'm happy with myself. Um, I'm very proud of myself, and I'm proud of the fact that I decided to become more vocal about it. Pride's important, as is education and celebration and all of that kind of thing. So. I am going to go and put on the dress I typically wear when I do anything ace themed. Um, it cost me five pounds from a charity shop. Utter fucking bargain. I'm gonna go get changed in that and be back, bitches. So this is the dress I usually wear for Pride. As I said, it cost me five pounds. I got it in a charity shop. It's definitely a bargain. And the other thing that goes with my Pride look is my purple flower crown. Um, I got this at a stall near Waterloo Station um, last year. Um, I don't know if they still sell them, but it is my favorite flower crown. It's pride, it's purple, it's very me. And this, that's my finished, finished look. And that's what pride means to me, I guess. Sorry that my makeup's not great. I mean, actually, I'm not sorry. It's my makeup. Don't really care what you think. But that's the basis of what my pride look would be. So, I hope that gave anyone some inspiration. Um, if you're going to London Pride, look out for me. I will be marching with Avon, which I am absolutely ecstatic about. I just can't wait. 
and I will also be at the um, Asexuality Conference on the Sunday after Pride. So if you happen to be going to that, then hit me up if you see me, it will be lovely to chat. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will leave a link to Pride in London's details, like their website, their Twitter, whatever, um, in the description. And thank you very much for asking me to make a video. I'm very, very blessed. And I will see you all at some point soon, whenever I make another video. Cool. Right. Bye. I'm again in that awkward position where the camera is, is there. This is a mirror. And I don't really know how to go and turn it off because it's a bit like in in your face. Whoops. Bye.